Fellas, you ever stumble onto a corner of the internet you're not quite ready for? It happened to me recently. I was playing Pokemon Snap, and then somebody in my chat sent me into another dimension. And I happened to stumble upon a place I haven't been since 2015. And that is the white woman's internet. And the at the epicenter of the white woman's internet is a site called BuzzFeed.com. BuzzFeed.com is home to all of the best quizzes you can find on the internet. Including uh, 15 celebrities who have been blonde and brunette. Which hair color do you prefer? Uh, believe it or not, but the hot dog you build directly determines what European country you should move to. Yeah, and BuzzFeed.com has literally thousands and thousands of quizzes that presume to know everything about you. Today, we're gonna explore and see just how on the money and accurate they are. Now, I have a list here, uh, but I'm also gonna have the help of my lovely assistant back here to send me some quizzes. And we're gonna see uh, the depths of despair that BuzzFeed can send us to. I can guess your middle name based on the custom house you- Okay, that one I know you can my middle name is Aaron, with an A, not a woman's middle name, not with an E, it is Aaron with an A. There's no way they get this. All right, let's, d d let's design a house. May let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they'll know I'm a guy. Maybe they'll know. Let's try. What will the exterior look like? I kind of like this one. This is, this is like that house in Hitman. Lovely window. Oh, but dude, you would need curtains across your whole house. No. No, I'm li I like this one. Pick your bedroom. Damn, that's cozy. Look at this. What about a kitchen? I kind of like this one if you can get rid of the... The Pier 1 Imports... Blessed and Welcome signs. Mallory loves that shit. And that's how I know she's a normie and we shouldn't have been together. Because <laughs> every time she's like, I want one of those, like, live, laugh, love, or like... Don't talk to me, but without my glass of wine, you know? Like... White woman detected. Yeah, yeah, they, they truly love that shit. They really do. Dining room in the kitchen? No. No, they need to be separate. Extra. Library, growing food, movie theater, wishing well, balcony, pool. Pool. Extra, extra. Security, treehouse, room dedicated to pets. That's a little weird. Do houses have that? That's mad bougie. What the fuck? Tank. That's the same as a pool. Old famous piece of art. I'll take a treehouse. Yeah. Pets. A duck? I can have a duck? Chameleon, cat, dog, a combination of the... Like a chimera? A dog with a duck's beak and a cat's tail. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would like. I want a duck. Pick some clothes. See, I don't... I don't think I'm the demo here. We're, we're outside... Uh, Emma, I'm not even... See, I told you you wouldn't know. I told you, okay, swing and a miss here from BuzzFeed. That one, they can't get them all right. They can't get them all right. Let's try this one. Are you annoying? Surely they could tell me this, you know? I have some bad habits. I pop my gum. I take fries without asking. Yeah, I cr oh my God. Oh God, not that. I don't chew loud. No, I'm quiet as a mouse when I chew. You take fries without asking? Bro, it's one fry! What do you mean? Yes! Nobody's gonna notice it's the perfect crime! Bro, McDonald's shorted you. I don't know. It's not even going outside the box, dude. It's like, like, they're all inside. They, like, smushed them down. I can't pop my gum, but I would if I could. What? You can't pop gum? What do you mean? It's not like whistling. Wait, is this really a problem? It's like whistling? No, it's not. It's absolutely not. Are you guys kidding? This has to be a joke. Can you guys really not do it? That's embarrassing. Don't tell anyone that. Don't tell anybody that. You have children's lips and tongues. You can't blow a bu- Oh my god. Beta! <laughs> all beta. That's amazing. I like telling people what happened in my dreams. Dude! That's the worst one. If you guys do that, please don't do that. It's so annoying. I will have a phone call in public around other people. I don't care. I'm giving you a nickname. No, okay, so I think I'm good. I don't think I'm annoying. I don't. I think I do some small annoying things, but I don't think I'm overall annoying. Kind of annoying. I, you know, of that, I checked more than 84%.
I'm more annoying than 84% of people? I only got 10 out of 20. Dude, people are lying. And BuzzFeed users are hella annoying. Again, the site's demographic is white women. You think I'm more annoying than 84% of white women? Absolutely not. How likely is it you're going to hell? Oh, hold on, I need to figure this out. Check all the sins you've committed. Uh, used God's name in vain. Used God's name in vain while having premarital s I don't... I don't think I've done that. Heck, hell, darn. I've never dishonored my mother and father. Told a lie. Not that I can remember. Twitter bait is lying. No, lying for a purpose is not lying. If you li the ends justify the means. If you lie to accomplish a goal, it's not lying. Because it's the only way you could get it to happen. So, it's a lie, but it doesn't count at the end. <laughs> Literal ace attorney murderer logic. Murdered? No. <laughs> that I feel like this test was set up by the FBI. And as soon as you click on that, it tracks your IP. It's just, got him. This test was a last-ditch effort to find the Zodiac. Eating a second helping of dessert and said, Oh my god, I'm going to hell. What the fuck is this white women shit? What is this? I've never done that in my life. This is, this is white women TGI Friday's behavior. Stolen songs by- Dude, we all did. Of course, we all did that. That's not gonna send me to hell. There has to be a curve. Jo God has to judge on a curve. If God does not judge on a curve, there's like 50 people up there. Tweeted spoilers about a TV show. That, yeah, that's funny when I do it. Uh, liked your own Facebook comment or dancing. I'm not going to hell. I didn't even commit half of all sins. Dude, is one sin hell? If you say heck, do you go to hell? Bro, come on! What if somebody's reading this out loud and that's the first time they ever say heck and now they have to go to hell? I hate BuzzFeed, dude. Eternal damnation from this goddamn site. Play hot or not with all the weird characters I found attractive. Gladly. I've always thought Jay Walker from the Lego Ninjako movie was attractive. What about you? I'm a sucker for freckles. No, I kind I like freckles. He's he's a cute guy. He's a cute guy. Yeah, he's cute. What? 62% so say no? What do you mean? I always thought Predator from John McTiernan's Predator was hot. No. I can't get... No, nobody's down for that. That's not... That's an alien. Mario and Luigi from Nintendo's Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. There's no defining feature. I mean, they're cute, but they're not, like... I don't want to hold their hand. Not like that. No. <laughs> Nobody agrees with this... This poor person. Nobody agrees with them. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> I, listen, I've got a lot of viewers right now. One of you owns the jar. Uh, but that's a no from me. Yeah, okay, we're getting... I see where the direction this is going. No, this is too... I can't... <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is getting worse. Would you rather be attracted to Legos or anthropomorphic animals? I, I, you guys are gonna laugh. I think, I think maybe Legos. Dude, I wonder if the Lego movie is gonna be like a furry movement for kids now. Like they're gonna see that hacker chick from the Lego movie. Oh no. It's already happening. You know what? He's... I've stalled for long enough. If the fox was a person, I could see how he would be attractive. But as an animal, it's a no. And he's not even like an anthropomorphic animal. Like he's just a fox who wears clothes. So it's a no. 60-40 in favor of, of, yeah. And these were formerly normal people. 85% don't want the horse, but they'll take the fox? Wait, Cuphead? If it was Cuphead, maybe. I don't like big noses. I'm not a fan. And and I like the way Cuphead wears his hair a little bit more. I do. I think this is a little bit more interesting. 
I'm not a fan of prominent noses. I'm not. No, I don't really like... Yeah, nobody likes... Holy fuck, people don't like Mugman. They hate Mugman. 60% of people want to go on a date with the fox, but only 3% like Mugman. That's so sad. I always thought Simba from Lion King was low-key hot for an animated lion. <laughs> I... I don't think so. Wait! But this guy... This guy's kind of dangerous. He's a bad boy. Wait. He's about to make me act up. Look at this dude. He's got a dark side. Isn't he like Scar's son or something? Yeah, I kind of like... Yeah, Look at this. Wait, more people liked... Oh, more people liked Simba than him. Never mind. I really thought I was on the right side of history. What about Leaf... That's an actual dog. That's a dog. That's a dog with leaves. No. Rafa. Oh, he's my favorite turtle. He is the best one. He actually is my favorite. I don't know if I like him like that. He is a turtle. But if it's good enough for April, it's good enough for me. 77% <laughs> said no? Come on. Donatello is the best free. Dur fucking nerd alert! What do you mean Donatello is the- I hate it when people say Donatello is the best. That is the immediate way I know that there's a nerd in my chat. Everybody says they like Donatello. I don't get it. He's a fucking dweeb. He's a geek. Pick a dog and we will reveal your deepest fear. I'd like to see you try. My deepest fear. Let's get this out of the way so you know I'm not cheating. My deepest fear, for sure, is uh, getting old and losing my memory, okay? That's like the one thing. Or, it's when I'm walking off an elevator, and the elevator uh, drops suddenly, and then the elevator actually, as I, before I can step off, the elevator chops off my face. So like, my face is still on the floor, but my body's on the elevator as it's falling. That's probably my biggest fear. Yeah, that's 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 probably my biggest fear. Let's see if it gets it. Um, I like this dog. Heights. You know, BuzzFeed, I'll give you this one. I'll give you this one. Not bad. Not bad. That's definitely a Mortal Kombat finisher, not with an elevator. Who would do that? Who would have a fatality? They push you in the elevator. How do they spawn an elevator? Okay. We know what Danny DeVito character you are based on these seven questions. Okay. If I'm the fucking Hercules thing, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, if I'm this thing, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> I better not be. Anything but this. Please. I'll never live it down. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm a Wario guy. Yeah, oh no. Oh no. I, I feel like I've sealed my fate with that. Oh no. I feel like I'm making this worse. Pick a Marvel character. Jeff Goldblum is a Marvel character? Who's Justin Hammer? That's Thor's human name? Oh, because the hammer. No, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Thor's kind of cool. I like Thor, yeah. But I gotta go with the raccoon. You know I like raccoons. Simpsons is my favorite show ever, but only the old stuff. So I'm gonna pick it and hope I... Cool! Yeah! I didn't get the, the centaur! I didn't get Hercules! Yay! How many of these unpopular opinions do you agree with? Oh, here we go. You guys think I'm a contrarian, right? Huh? You guys always say that I'm just saying stuff for content or I'm trying to bait. We'll see. I will be 100% honest here, okay? I will be totally honest. No con- no contrarian- I promise. I swear to you. Okay, chocolate ice cream is overrated. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. No, I don't I don't really like... Ch I, I feel like too many people are on chocolate ice cream. All chocolate, fake chocolate shit just tastes like the same fake chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I eat like a, like a chocolate thing that's like chocolate flavoring, it all tastes the same. It's not good. Putting a period at the end of a text makes it sound way more aggressive. Yeah, I, I judge people that do this. No, that's true. No, if somebody puts a period at the end of something, I'm like, this fucking guy. 
What the fuck? If I put a period at the end of my sentence, I'm either being professional, and it's because I'm con I'm contacting you in like a professional capacity, like on Slack or something, or I want you to give me an answer so I never have to talk to you again. Braces are cute. No, 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 no. Let, if any, let, okay. Let me be clear. If you're watching this and you have braces, you're fine, okay? You're beautiful. You'll be fine soon. Just for now, you're gonna have to deal with it for a little while longer. I had to make that clear to my YouTube audience, who's probably in high school and dealing with it. Listen, you're, it's, they'll be off soon, okay? You'll be fine. Just give it time. I, it's only a few years. Whenever I see an adult with braces, I'm like, Oh, no. That's poor planning. <laughs> like, you know? I'm like, you should have done that years ago. Come on. Can you survive a day as a chef in a Michelin star restaurant? Hungry for a career change, you browsed LinkedIn until you found the perfect opening. A sous chef position at Shea Platypus, the fanciest restaurant in town. Your alarm clock goes off and it's time to get dressed for the day. What do you wear to work? I passed the interview. I just, I have to wear my chef's shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Okay. You get everything organized and set up for the day with the help of your kitchen staff. A young man walks up to you and says he's there for a stage. Where do you direct him? Oh, God. If you're going to the stage, that's the, s the stoves. I'm in a kitchen, right? I think that's got to be it. You're working on poached lobster tails. How do you cook it? Uh... You, we're gonna spray a baking sheet with olive oil, then we roast the tails. Yeah, you didn't poach the lobster. Fuck! Did they say it was poached? God damn it! They said it was no retake, 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 retake. I fucking I didn't read it was poached. D go back. No! God, the intern got lost. I wasn't paying attention. Go back. Simmer water. At yes, got it. Customer asks for aioli with their dish. What do you put in it? Oh God. I think it's olive oil and gar. Yes! Shea Platypus is famous for the spherification on its drinks menu. What? What? What do you grab from the pantry to help you make fruit juice spheres? What? Sodium alginate. Because sodium is salt, and alginate is like algae. So it's gonna like... It's gonna coagulate. Yes! Okay. You want to check on the chocolate souffle you're baking. How do you sneak a peek? What do I... I think I turn on the light, right? Okay. Yeah, you can't open it because it's a souffle. It's very delicate. Whew! Finally, the restaurant closes for the day. The head chef tells you to take out the trash before you leave. That's not really my job. I'm a chef. It's already after midnight and some of the wait staff invite you to grab ice cream with them. They're leaving right now. What do you do? Oh, dude. I want to go get ice cream. Ask the head chef if she could take out the trash today so you can hang out with your new friends. That's a surefire way to get fired. I'm getting fired that day if, the, if I do this. I shouldn't do this. I gotta take it out. I gotta take it out. Yes! Let's go! Diligence! I did my job! Phew! That was close. That was close. Yeah, I would never tell Ramsey to, to take out the trash. I wouldn't do it. I would have to do it myself. Yes, chef! I'll take out the trash. Order some Taco Bell and we'll reveal the absolute worst thing about you. Okay, chat. Let's, let's get it out of the way. The worst thing about me is probably... If I had to pick one thing, it's not that I'm annoying. I'm only a little annoying. We saw that earlier. My height are fine. I'm average height. I'm not a contra- Okay, you know, I'm not doing this. I'm not- I'm not letting you guys neg me. You guys are just being rude to me for no reason. I'm gonna just take the quiz and I'll tell you if it's right or not. I'm not doing this. Chat's just being so mean. I'll take a Baja Blast Freeze. Yeah, that sounds good. Pick a taco. Cheesy Gordita Crunch is pretty good, but I think it's a little much. I'll take a soft taco usually, though. I like both, though. I'll take soft or hard. They're both good. Specialty item. Crunch wrap, cheesy roll-up, cheesy... Oh, dude, I love the uh, quesadilla. I always get quesadilla. Pick a sauce. No sauce. No thanks. Not for me. Pick a dessert. Cinnamon twists. Cinnabon delight. I'm full. I don't want any more. You're indecisive. What do you mean? I just decided my order. I did my whole thing. That's not true. Why are you all saying it's true? That's not true. 
Okay, whatever. One more. One more. Okay, final test. Are you a good person? All right, this one should be... This is the final test. This will tell us everything we need to know, okay? You come across a lot wallet lying on the street. Turn it in with all the money. Turn it in, but keep 20 bucks. Leave it there. Pocket it all. If I see a wallet lying on the street, I'd probably leave it there. Because the guy's going to come back for it, right? Where do you turn it into? Fuck! You left it lying on the street. By doing so, you opted out of a trade-off between the more concrete short-term benefits of immediate gain and the more diffuse but arguably no less valuable to you benefits in honoring the social contract. Was your inaction right or moral, per se? Answering this depends, in an irreducible way, on your private system of values. That's what I was saying! That's what I thought, too! Yeah! You're headed to an important meeting when you see a nearsighted old lady struggling to cross the street. Do you stop and help even though it might make you late? Uh, if I'm late, I got places to be. Somebody else will do it. It's fine. Zero karma points. You strode right on by. Was this moral, considering the good it did for you and your colleagues at the meeting? It is impossible to tell since the meeting's importance was underspecified. In the face of situational variability, can one develop a comprehensive and universal moral code and vary into circumstance? Numerous thinkers throughout history have attempted to answer this question, some arguably succeeding more than others, but space does not permit us to explore them here. For a more comprehensive review, interested users are encouraged to consult previous work on the subject. Fuck, I knew it! Based on those two answers, you are a horrible narcissist. What the fuck are you- Huh? Well, how so? Because I didn't help a lady cross the street. I have to go to work. I'm busy. Consider a runaway trolley containing five passengers careening out of control down a hill. You're standing by a switch that, if activated, would redirect the trolley along another track into a sand pit, saving the five passengers. However, on this other track is an innocent bystander who would surely be killed. You have no time to warn me. This is just the, the standard trolley question, right? That's fine. That, I, 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 I have to flip the switch. I gotta save the people. Zero karma points. Okay. You flipped the switch. Faced with an instance of what Thomas Aquinas would call double effect, you operated according to the traditionally Christian principle that intending a good action may justify a result in bad action, and indeed, the intent itself makes such an action moral. But one may ask, to what extent should one allow motive to influence or, moreover, actively determine the praiseworthiness or reprehensibility of a given action? This is a matter of ongoing debate in philosophical and legal spheres. I think I know where this quiz is going. I, maybe I'll get one karma point. I'll get one karma point here, for sure. There has to be a way I can get one point to be a good person. You're about to get your eight-year-old daughter the toy chemistry set she's wanted for weeks, but at the store she suddenly decides she wants a big stuffed bear instead. What do you get her? The bear. Actually, no, I would get her both. That's my daughter, and she deserves it. I would get her both and then run a subathon to pay for it. Nothing's too expensive for my little angel. Absolutely. Both. Fuck! I never get points! Okay. Alright. Okay, tally up those karma points, but before you do, ask yourself, what reward are you hoping for as you stumble through your brief existence day after day? Salvation? The approval of some god? Perhaps more simply, the approval of your own consciousness? Uh, moreover, might we not view these as one and the same, and with God, the devil, and indeed all of human morality in its highest perfection and lowest depravity, nothing but mere projections of human nature onto external cam- I'm a good- yeah, I am a good person. Yeah. No. I am. That's the result I wanted, and that's the result I got. Thank you. I got it. Thank you. I'm not a bad person. It didn't even say I was bad. I won the quiz. So many quizzes are so mean tonight. I hate white women.